Hey YouTube, it's Taylor. I'm back with another video. Um, in this particular video, I decided to do a cut crease, a very bold cut crease. Um, I usually suck at cut creases, but I decided to really like take my time. I actually took time on everything like my eyebrows and everything because I don't know if you guys noticed but in my other tutorials um my eyebrows been looking a little they've been looking like cousins and not twins so I definitely took my time on everything and I really love how everything came out um I was inspired to do a cut crease by makeup by Shania um she doesn't have a YouTube page but she does have a Twitter page and I think an Instagram but I follow her on Twitter and she does really bomb cut creases and I was like I'm gonna do one you know I'm feeling very inspired I never thought to use these colors but I really love how it came out and then I used um some sparkly glitter in the inner corners um yeah, so I'm not going to talk too much. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see how I achieve this look, I suggest you keep watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you would like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, it's underscore T-V-Y-L-0-R underscore. Um, it'll be like right here. And if you want to follow me on Snapchat, it's Taylor1121, but it's T-V-Y-L-0-R. 1121 and that'll be down here as well um and also in the description box um yeah so thank you guys so much for watching once again i always say that all the time but thank you i'm so grateful to have people that watch me you know <sighs> anyways but yeah thank you guys so much and enjoy the video Hey guys, I'm back with another video, so I'm going to start by priming my eyes um, with my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the color NW45, and I'm going to place that all over my lid with my finger, my janky finger, um, and I'm going to use my Airspun Powder to set that concealer in place so when I'm applying my eyeshadow, it's on a nice and smooth base so I'm just using a random brush and just um, packing that on my lid and then I'm going to use just a bigger brush to brush it out we'll brush it off Okay, so now to outline my crease for the cut crease, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate. And um, I'm just outlining it with an angled brush that I got from BH Cosmetics. And once I create that line, I'm doing small flicks upwards. And um, I'm doing that on both of my eyes. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're just going to blend it out anyways. Um, so you just want to make sure uh, you blend it up and you don't want to get anything on your lid but if you do you can just clean it up with concealer. Okay, so now that I did both of my uh, creases already, they're not perfect, but I'm using this brush that I got from BH Cosmetics, and you just want to blend it up, and I'm blending it up, but in circular motions, um, because I want everything to kind of go towards my eyebrow. I don't want anything to go below um, the line that I made, so you want to keep blending that until um, it gets to your liking, and... There you have it. And right here, I'm just um, adding some more of the pomade just to clean it up a little bit 
to kind of make it a little bit darker um i'm just fixing it to my liking um you don't have to do this if you don't want to it's based on how you want it but this is just what i decided to do Okay, so now to go over that, I'm going to use Bitten, which is an eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. And I really love this eyeshadow. It's like a plum type of purple. And I'm using that uh, a Pro Blending Fluff from Coastal Scents. I really love this brush. Um, and I'm just placing that uh, above the line um, just to add some color. And I'm going to blend it out, so bear with me but i decided to make this like a bold um look so i wanted to add some purple because y'all know that is my favorite color so i decided to add this and um then we're gonna blend it out okay and going into my morphe 35p my favorite palette um, I'm going to use that light brown color, which I usually use as my transition color. I'm actually going to use this blending brush and I'm going to blend that purple. Um, just blend it in so there's no harsh lines and I want everything to kind of be nice and smooth. And now I'm getting this smaller brush um, and I'm using that matte black eyeshadow. And I'm going to place that right at the line. Um, to kind of have some darkness to add more dimension to the whole entire look and then once I apply the black and um, it's to my liking I'm just gonna blend it out with bitten and then blend it in again blend the bitten in with um, the transition color Okay, so now going back into my 35P palette, I'm using that matte peachy shade and I'm going to place that all on my lid. So wherever I put the concealer, I'm placing that eyeshadow and sorry for the noise in the background. My dog is walking around, um, but yeah, so I'm using that and I'm just going to use this uh, eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to place that everywhere I put the concealer. And I thought I showed it, but I'm using my ColourPop uh, Cream Gel Liner in the color Swerve. And I'm using an angled brush, and I'm just going to do my wing. Um, I wanted it to be nice and sharp, so I kept the tape on. And um, I'm going to fix it like once I take the tape off. But this is just to kind of give myself a guideline of like how... I want the wing and how sharp I want it to be. Okay, so now I'm not completely finished the eyes, but I'm going to move on to the face. So I'm taking off that tape. Um, it might be a little ratchet, but I kind of got the tape off of one of my palettes that was holding it together and I couldn't find any tape. So I just used that. So, I mean, the whole, the eyes turned out nice, so it's whatever. So, um, I'm going to color correct with my NYX full coverage concealer in the color orange and I'm just going to put it over my acne because my face has been breaking out like crazy. I know it's not going to fully cover up my acne, but you won't see it as much. Um, so I'm just going to place that one wherever I'm breaking out in like dark spots um, that I have on the sides of my nose from wearing glasses for a really long time. So I'm basically just placing it in those areas and then I'm going to get my 
Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and I'm going to just blend everything out. So I did something really dumb. I put the concealer on my face first before priming my face. So I just went ahead and just put the primer over the concealer. Um, I didn't really care about how I did this. Um, I was mad that I messed up, but I wasn't about to wipe the uh, concealer off. So I just went ahead and just put the primer over and just rubbed everything in. Um, so now I'm just getting my Ultra HD foundation for Makeup Forever and I'm going to place that all over my face. This is the foundation stick and I've been using it for quite some time. I think about like a month or a little less than a month and I love it. It's like my favorite foundation and I'm using this uh, flat stippling brush from BH Cosmetics. I don't know the name of it but um, that's what I'm using to um, blend everything in and um, I'm going to then just use a sponge just to soak up any extra product that's on my face so it doesn't look so cakey. So now I'm getting my Graftobian HD Glamour Cream Palette um, to conceal and highlight. I'm using the colors Burnt Amber and Ginger and I'm, I'm applying that under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, my chin. And um, I'm using the color Winter Wheat which is the lightest shade that I'm just placing on top of um, the two colors under my eyes just to give it a more highlighted effect and I'm also cleaning up the wing that I did with the concealer so I'm just doing all that and then I'm going to blend it in with my Real Techniques beauty sponge So now I'm going to contour with my CoverFX Contour Kit in the shade Deep. I'm so mad that I'm finished with the palette, but I need to find a new product to contour with because I refuse to pay $48 for a whole nother uh, kit. Just to use the same color and be finished with it really quick. So I'm just contouring my cheeks um, under my chin and then I'm going to bake with my airspun powder and my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the color Camel.
Okay, so while I was baking, I accidentally used too much air spun powder and not enough camel powder. So after I um, brushed all of it off, I kind of looked a little washed out. Um, so basically, something to do when you feel like you are a little bit washed out or you look too light, just to add more bronzer or um, contour a little bit more to kind of even out your skin tone. And I also added my uh, MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation in the color NW50 to kind of um, get me a little bit more color back to my face because I was looking really crazy. Um, so I'm just uh, adding that to my face and um, contouring a little bit more. I used uh, the dark brown eyeshadow from my 35P palette and I kind of contoured with that. Okay, so now time for highlighting. I'm using my Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector in the color Topaz. And I'm using my Morphe M500. Um, I think I need a smaller highlighter brush because a lot of people use this particular brush to brush off like loose powders, like when they bake. So, I mean, so far it's been pretty good, but I'll probably get um, a smaller brush in the future. And I'm just applying that above my eyebrows, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, the higher points, higher parts of my cheek, um, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And for the eyes, I actually forgot to um, highlight my brow bone, but I mean, I guess it looked really good without it, so I'm not completely tripping. Um, and now for my second highlighter, I'm using ColourPop's Wisp. Um, which is also a favorite of mine. It's um, creamy and thick, so I have to apply it with my finger because it doesn't really come on the brush. So um, that's basically how I apply it. And then I have to use something stiffer like uh, my fan brush to blend it out um, because it's, it's kind of hard to blend um, with the M500 because the... Um, bristles are so light and now I'm using my third highlighter which is um, Urban Decay's Illuminated in the color Luminous and I'm just applying those in the same parts where I put the other two highlighters sorry if you hear that noise in the back it's my dog he's really annoying me um, and yeah so now I'm about to highlight my inner corner using my Recollection Sparkle Embossing Glitter from Michaels. And um, this is the color Vintage Mint and it has tints of green in it, which I didn't know until I opened it. Um, but it, I pulled it off um, so you couldn't see the green in it. Um, I basically put a silver eyeshadow over top of it so it looks more silver and you can't see like the minty green in um, the glitter. Okay, so to finish off the eyes, I'm using going back into Bitten from Makeup Geek and I'm going to place that on my lower lash line 
and I'm also going to mix it with um, the matte black eyeshadow from my 35P palette and I'm going to just blend those out and kind of smoke it out a little bit. Next, I'm using my NYX Eye and Eyebrow Pencil in the color black to line my waterline and I'm just using some Avon mascara to just um, do my lower lashes and I'm just setting my face and now I'm going to do my lashes which I did off camera and I use Avon, Amazon, sorry, Amazon lashes. Um, I don't remember where I got them from and I double stack them with my Christina lashes also from Amazon So now on to the lips. I'm lining my lips with max bittersweet um, It's like a brown type of color. So I'm just lining my lips uh, completely um, with the color and I'm going to do like a new type of neutral lip because I did such a bold eye, you don't want to do a bold lip as well, because that's just too much. Um, so now I'm going to get um, my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Cairo. You're about to see it. Um, and I'm just going to basically place that all over my lips um, until I get the look that I want. And then um, I want, I'm really into matte lips. Um, so basically what I did, I kind of set my lips with my airspun powder, um, which you'll see in a minute. So now I'm just um, placing more bittersweet around it so it kind of gives it an ombre effect. And um, now I'm about to add the airspun powder to my lips. Now I look real crazy, but um, I'm just gonna brush it off and kind of fix my lips get myself together and um, yeah and then after that um, after brushing my lips off I decided that I wanted my lips to have a little bit of shimmer so I came up with the idea to um, apply the wisp which is the second highlighter second highlighter I use and I just placed um, a little bit of the wisp on my lips just to give it a little bit of shimmer um, not too much so this is the finished look guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it um, give it a thumbs up if you liked the video um, let me know in the comments how you liked it and if you have any ideas of anything that you would like me to do let me know um, thank you guys so much uh, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video